All right, let's look at 21, guys. Everybody put your phones up, please. Phones are back off your desk. Yep. We started on Friday. Um, we had some people that were out, so we're going to do the right column together. If you guys know what you're doing, go ahead and knock it out. All right, phones are off, off the desk now. This is the circle of um, the unit circle. circle. It's not like nice <laughs> All right, so Kara, look at your formulas you just copied off Amelia's paper. All right, what is the formula, Kara, for seeking? Uh, well, one over X. All right, Georgia, did you see where we got that from? One over X. I got copied. Okay, so that's where we got it from, right there. All right, so watch, Kara. This is this is an easy one. You go to zero, which is right here, and you find your x and y. Everybody remembers the first number is x, the second number is y. That's a quarter. All right, Amelia, focus. All right, so whatever they have for x right here, Kara, which is one, you put on the bottom in your formula. One over one is my problem, so my answer is just. You will not have a calculator on these problems on your test. So don't even bother typing it in. Learn how to do it by hand. All right, let's go to 22. Wait a minute now. Anybody who is absent and needs me to slow down and do one over, I will from here on. All right, 22. Seek it of 5 pi over 6. All right, George, you got these formulas copied yet? What's the formula again for seeking? Whatever. Very good. All right, watch how easy this is. We go to 5 pi over 6 on the circle and find the point. Where is that? Here it is. 5 pi over 6. So, Georgia, the first number is my x, the second number is my y. So, the one that's the x, you put it on the bottom of the fraction. So, I got 1 divided by negative root 3 over 2. Carrie, you good? All right, Amelia is absolutely right. We can't have double fractions. So here's what you do to fix that. Y'all do keep change split. We always split the bottom one, remember? So Amelia, the top is one. I'm going to say that's one over one times. What's the bottom going to be when I flip it? Yeah, I'm going to leave the negative up top. So it's going to be negative two over root three. Copy that down. It's just normally left on the top. All right, so now, why we multiply straight across to get our answer? My answer is negative 2 on top and root 3 on the bottom. Now, we got a problem, Georgia. Kara, you cannot leave your answer with a square root on the bottom of a fraction. Okay, so how do we fix it? Well, if we were using our calculator, we could just type it in and it would fix it for us. But since we're not using our calculator, here's how you fix it. Whatever's on the bottom, Jordan, you just multiply right here and right here. And that will fix it and give you your answer. So when it happens, just take whatever's on the bottom and multiply it on both sides. So what am I going to have on top? Can I multiply these and get six? Nope, because one's a square root and one's not. So what do I get? Just negative two and root three on top. All right, what do I get on the bottom? Three times three is the square root of nine. What's that turn into? Three. Remember, we were trying to get rid of the square root on the bottom, and that's what we did. I know that thing that plays at the beginning of movies. It's constantly playing in my head all the time. The little, what is it? Is it 20 extension? It's always playing in my head. All right, why? Any question on 22? We good? Say we good? I think. All right, let's go to 23. Secant of pi. Now this one looks like it's going to be an easy one, a short one. Alright, the formula for all of these is 1 over x because the first 10 problems we're going to do are all secant. So the formula is all the same. Alright, so Kara, where is pi at on the circle? Negative 
If we can find where it's tied. There it is. Right here. Okay? That's one pi. That's pi. So we're going to use these two numbers on this problem for that. See if y'all can plug in your x, get your answer. All right, this one is meant to be just as easy as it looks. Are all of the pi? All right, it's two seven. <laughs> All right, watch this one, Amelia. So I got negative 1 on the bottom. What's 1 divided by negative 1? Negative 1. That's all you do on 23, guys. Any question on that? New people. All right, let's go to 24 then. About half of these are so short. You guys heard, I guess, Friday. Let me pause the tape. Y'all heard Friday? <laughs> gotta have some slaw with it if I'm eating hot dog. I can't just eat it. Gotta have some slaw with it. Otherwise, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. All right, let's see what y'all got on 24. 21 is gonna, uh, 21. 24 is gonna be one that's a little bit longer. All right, Amelia, focus in. All right, so where is 225? Right here. My formula is 1 over x. So watch, guys. It's going to be 1 over negative root 2 over 2. All right. What do I have to do since I got double fractions? Keep change. Keep change flip. Which one do I always flip? The one on the bottom. So here we go. 1 over 1 times, I flip the bottom, negative, negative 2 and root 2. All right. CJ says your answer is negative 2 and root 2. Anybody got a question how I got that? Now, CJ, can I leave it like that? No. Why not? Okay. How do you fix it? You put root two on top and bottom. All right, everybody, watch this step. This is going to be the last step is going to be new. What do I do from here? I just multiply straight across. I get negative two and root two on top. What do you get on the bottom? Just plain two. Now, look at your answer right here. Do y'all see anything else we can simplify? Yep, cross out the twos. What's my answer? Negative root two. So that one's got a lot of extra work. No, I didn't mean to look for All right, 25 looks like an easy short problem. You guys do 25. Let's see what. Zero over x. All right, so our formula is one over x, right? That's what y'all said a minute ago. Oh my god. What's my x at two seven right here? Here we go. That's x and that's y, so it's one over zero. What's your answer when zero is on the bottom? No solution or undefined. Either one you want to write means the same thing. So that one was a short one. All right, let's check 26 out. I'm not going to do all these for you. Keep doing some that I think y'all got it. Let's do 26. 26 is secant of pi over 3. All right, y'all start that one. See if you can do it. This one is probably one where you got to do a little extra work, I'm guessing. All right, a million. My formula is 1 over x, so it's going to be 1 over what number? Let's check. 1 over 1 half. All right, good. 1 over 1 half. Now, let's do keep change flip. This one's not going to be that bad. 1 over 1 times what? What am I going to get when I flip 1 half? 2 over 1. All right, look, nothing cancels out. Multiply straight across. What is your answer? Yep, just 2. 2 over 1, just 2. That one wasn't bad. Did I miss that one? Grant, check my work. 26. I think I'm right. Where even is pi over 3 at? No, no. Pi over 3 is right there. All right. All right, let's go to 27. Grant, was that you? No, it was not. He did that. All right. Seek it of 330. All right, secant of 330. So my formula is 1 over x. I'm going to get y'all started on this. I'm going to stop and let you finish. 1 over x is our formula. What goes on the bottom? What's my x at 330? So let's find it. There's 330 right there, Karen. 
That goes on the bottom. So it's going to be 1 over root 3 over 2. All right, I got the double fraction deal again. What do we have to do? Keep change flip. 1 over 1 times 2 over root 3. That gives us an answer of 2 over root 3. Now, you guys fix it. I know we can't have a root on the bottom. Y'all fix it. Get it right. Don't say anything out loud about it. You guys know how many days there are in this month? Is there 31 or 30? There is 31. <laughs> coach, remember, do the hand. I don't, I've never learned that. Okay, look, coach. No, I don't want to learn. It's so easy, though. It's all this right here. <laughs> if it's on the top, it's 31. If it's not, So every other month. All right, Amelia, what's wrong with this answer right here, Amelia? Sir? What's wrong with that answer right there? Yeah. Yeah. How do we fix it? Hold on, let me get this done. Answer's going to be 2 and root 3 on top, 3 on the bottom. Are you good? All right, good job. Hey, you know October is Monday, right? Sunday. You're right. All that's wrong. Thank you. I'll fix it. <laughs> and you come in looking at it. I'm like, what the hell? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you stopped it when you did. All right, let's go to 28. All right, 28 should be an easy one. Secant of 90 degrees. All right, Wyatt, a formula is 1 over x. So what goes on the bottom in for x? Let's go to 90 degrees, Wyatt. Let's go to 90 degrees. Right here. Right, here. right, power over 2. So, out of these two numbers, why right here? Which one's my x? Zero. Good. So, guys, this one's 1 over 0. What's your answer when 0 is on the bottom again? No solution. We're getting better. I want to show y'all about three or four more, and I'm going to stop and let you finish these. All right, 29. I got secant. Secant of 120. All right, Georgia, help me on this one. I got 1 over x, Georgia. What number do I put on the bottom in for x when I go to 120 degrees? Y'all don't help because she's got to find 120. All right, but, but look, they're in order. All right, start here and go to 120. Which one of those right there is my x? They're in alphabetical order. So that's the first one. So I got one over negative one half. Now let's keep change flip. What's the answer? Negative two. Good. We're getting better. All right. Let's go to thirty. Why? Okay. Why is this thing in circles? Secant of two pi. All right, Kara and Georgia and whoever else didn't write this down the other day, remember, 2 pi is this spot right here. This is 360 degrees and 2 pi. So I didn't you didn't write that down. Great. If you haven't written that down, then write it down. 300 what? 360 degrees and 2 pi. All right, this one's easy. Hunter, what goes on the bottom? My formula is 1 over x, Hunter. 1 over 1 equals 1. That's the easy. Hey, why is this in a circle? Why is that a circle? Why is this a circle? Why is that a circle? Yeah, why is that a circle? I mean, I get what you're saying, but you just write all. It's hard to look at. Because you got to look at it. Because you got to look at it. You know? I'll think about that answer. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to do a couple more weeks. Let's go to 31. All right, guys, let's keep going. Some of y'all start to stall on me. Let's go. 31, I got cosecant. All right, now we've got a new formula. So, Kara, look up our formula for cosecant and tell me what it is. All right, so now instead of 1 over x that we just finished up doing, now it's going to be 1 over y. So I go to 30 degrees, 
and I plug in the one half. One divided by one half. All right, you guys do your keep change flip, and then go ahead and try 32, which is going to be an easy one, and then I'll help you with 33 also. All right, are you okay when I do the keep change flip? You good with that? So I got one over one, I flip the bottom. All right, that answer is pretty easy, the answer is two. All right, let's go to 32. 32, I got cosecant of pi over two. Now, I think this one's going to be an easy one because here's pi over 2, and my numbers are just 0 and 1. So what goes on the bottom if the formula is 1 over y? 1 over 1, what's my answer? 1. Yeah. All right, so hopefully 33 is going to be one of the longer ones that I need to show you. Good. All right, 33. I got cosecant of 135, your formula is 1 over y. You guys try that one. See how far you can get on that one before I show it. Wait, the bottom can't have I think they got it. You can't leave a root on the bottom of the fraction. All right, so at 135, I got 1 over root 2 over 2. So we got to do our keep change flip. So 1 over 1 times 2 over root 2. All right, Kara, my answer is 2 over root 2. Kara, how do I fix that answer? Uh, times by the root. Very good, times by the root. I got 2 and root 2 on top, and I got 2 on the bottom. Guys, is there anything else I can simplify on that one? Cancel out the 2s, my answer is root 2. All right, I'm going to give you all about five minutes to finish up through 40, then we'll do the back. Can you not count one? I don't even know where the website is, y'all.